cannot have a conversation on global biodiversity without giving a, a central place to the ocean. In this mobilization for protection, for science, for raising awareness, governments have a driving role to play and a great responsibility to invest in ocean science and knowledge, to develop ambitious conservation policies, and to forge international commitments. And I'm delighted to confirm that the UK will continue as the chair of the Global Ocean Alliance, so championing implementation of the strong, ambitious framework for action to put nature on a road to recovery this decade that we must agree here in Montreal and indeed include targets to protect at least 30% of the global ocean by 2030. So it's very timely that the ocean decade runs through to 2030, because during that time, we're really going to, you know, up our knowledge, it's estimated we're only know about 20% of the science of the, you know, the scientific properties of the ocean. So we get up to more like you know, 80%. We're going to base our decisions on much more on a base of scientific knowledge than we can do today. Uh, with so much left undiscovered at this stage, it would be very foolish to make uh, you know, decisions which uh, are going to be planetary in nature. Meet the targets set by the Paris Climate Agreement, the UN Sustainable Development Agenda and the UN Biodiversity Conference and today's leaders will have fulfilled the tasks demanded of them and our grandchildren will have the environmental security that we wish for them.